Located only minutes from the Chicago metro area in northwestern Indiana, sits one of America's newest national parks, Indiana Dunes. Indiana Dunes National Park explores the terrain bordering Lake Michigan, as well as the many plants and animals that call the park home, and the human influences left by the people of the past. Join us as we present to you the Visitor's Guide to Indiana Dunes. The geological story of the park began in the most recent global ice age around 11,000 years ago, when the Earth's temperature rose causing glaciers across the world, including ones in North America, to melt. Some of these almost mile thick sheets of ice formed the basis of the five Great Lakes of the Midwestern US and Eastern Canada. Lake Michigan was one of these lakes, and when the ice melted, the lake was a lot bigger than the body of water visitors see today. Thousands of years of deposition and erosion formed many different shorelines during the melting process, and as the water retreated from each shoreline, wetlands, beaches, and the park's iconic dunes were created. Today, four areas of dunes can be found in the park, including the ones closest to the lake, as well as the older Tolleston, Calumet, and Glenwood dunes. The latter two complexes are covered by an oak forest that remains constant throughout the seasons. However, dunes closer to the lake experience dune secession, or the coming and going of the many types of shore plants found in the area. Depending on ever-changing weather conditions and the water level of the lake, some plants will take root in the sandy soil, while others will get blown away to replant somewhere else. The lake from beaches across the park also experience changes during the year, being wide and sloping during the summer months before turning into a steep, narrow shoreline in the winter months, packed up against the ice covering Lake Michigan and strong gusts of wind coming off of the lake. Even today, the lake continues to constantly change its water levels, meaning the shoreline in 50 or even 100 years from now will not be the same. While most dune secession is able to be done through natural means, some dunes, such as Mount Baldy, one of the taller dunes in the park, require human intervention to prevent the dune from moving away from the lake too quickly. By planting vegetation that stabilizes the dune and informing the public about these measures, the human-impaired dunes will hopefully be able to return to their natural processes in the future. Indiana Dunes is a diverse national park boasting many different ecosystems from the wetlands and marshes to the lakeshore and prairies, but it didn't always look this way. In fact, it took over half a century of conservation efforts for the dunes to be set aside by Congress, beginning in 1899. Many citizens rose to the challenge, including Henry Cowles, a botanist who was known as the father of plant ecology, and a founding member of the Prairie Club of Chicago, an activist group that advocated for the protection of dunes from other commercial interests, such as the steel mills and power plants being developed in the area. Luckily, the first National Park Director, Stephen Mather, took a visit to the dunes in 1916, and Cowles, among others, appealed to the Director to make the area a national park. The park seemed to almost become a reality, however the United States entry into World War I delayed the park's establishment, and hopes for the protection of the dunes had to die down again. Many decades later, even after a small state park was established on the dunes, voices were still calling for a national park in the area, and this time Dorothy Buell led the charge. Her opposition came in the form of businessmen wanting to construct a port of Indiana near the dune complexes. Finally, in 1966, after almost a decade of advocation as well as a collaboration with Illinois Senator Paul Douglas fighting for the park in Congress, Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, along with the Port of Indiana, were established. Buell's contributions are remembered to the park's visitor center located in the town of Porter, Indiana. Over half a century later, in 2019, the beloved dunes were upgraded to become America's 61st National Park. While the dunes and the plants that grow on them are often the highlight of many parkgoers' visits, the animals of the park also offer a unique look into life along the shore of one of the U.S.'s biggest lakes. Over 350 species of birds can be found in the park, from reclusive herons and egrets in the Great Marsh to shorebirds nesting in the trees and sand nestled along the lake. Under the waters of Lake Michigan swim both native and invasive fishes, including lake trout and both small and largemouth bass. Finally, mammals like deer, squirrels, mice, and bats can often be seen scurrying through the wooded areas of the park, looking for their next meal, or seeking shelter from the fierce lake storms. Indiana Dunes National Park manages to thrive in an environment surrounded by the urbanization of the Midwest, and continues to serve as an example of the natural beauty of the United States. Indiana Dunes is just one of many national parks in the U.S., your national parks, waiting to be explored by the next generation of park visitors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.